Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on Safari, bookmarks, favorites, and reading lists. All right, today we're going to take a look, a little in depth look at how to um, save some of your favorites so you can get back to them quickly within the Safari internet browser. And we're going to go into the Safari app to start with, and it's this icon down here that looks like a compass. We're going to tap on it and load it into Safari. So previously we've shown you in our Safari overview tech bit how to navigate around the internet using Safari and having different tabs and different websites open. Um, you'll notice here that I have four tabs open and right now this tab is active and it's the National Geographic website. And we're going to show you how you can quickly um, save websites so you don't have to type in the website name or address every time you want to go there. I like to go to National Geographic a lot, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a bookmark for it. And what we're going to do is we basically have the page up that we want to bookmark, and then we use the share button. The share button tells us to do something, and it comes up with a variety of different options. And what we're looking at down here is add bookmark. Right. These things will change depending on what app you're in, yep. and um, we pretty much it's cover that. It's always the way you do things, though. Right, right. It's the way you do something with whatever content you've got. Here we've got a web page, and I want to do something with it. I don't want to share it or send it. I want to add a bookmark. So I'm going to go ahead and tap Add Bookmark. <clears throat> and it's going to come up. It's going to ask me, what do I want to call it? Sometimes it has like a really long title. Right. This isn't too bad, but I, I probably don't need the news part, so I'm just going to hit Delete a little bit, make it a little smaller, and just call it National Geographic. Underneath that, it shows you the URL, the actual website address, and then it asks you what location you want to store it in, okay? And you have a couple different options here. Um, right now, uh, it's saying choose a folder. You can either put it in your favorites section. Which we'll show you in a minute. Which we'll show you in a minute, or bookmarks. Bookmarks is just the main folder, and that's right. where I'm putting it. Later, we're going to show you how to create other folders so you can be really organized. Right. So we want it to go into bookmarks, and we save it. And now Karen's going to show you how to find it. Okay. And how to use your bookmarks, um, you'll notice this little book icon at the top of the screen. Uh, if you tap on that, it's going to bring up this sidebar. And this is showing you your bookmarks. And it will keep the website that you have open up on the right. And um, a lot of people will get this open and then not know how to be like swiping it to get rid of it, trying to get rid of it. It's as simple as tapping the book icon again. Mm hmm and notice the book icon turns blue when you turn so you it on. It active. Right, you have it active. Yep. Now up here we have uh, the book again and the glasses and the little at sign. So you want to make sure to look at your bookmarks that you've got the book active. Then below that you'll see um, favorites, history, and then some bookmarks. bookmarks. And you can tell they're bookmarks because they have the little book by them. So first of all, we look right here and that bookmark that Barbara just created, National Geographic, is here. So if I were to tap on a bookmark, let's go I'll go tap to, on a different one. Yeah, go to I'll Bon Appetit. Tap on Bon Appetit. It'll yes. take you there. So it's a quick way to access um, websites that you use a lot. Um, an even quicker way is something called Favorites. And what that is, is Favorites is this little, these little type that you see here. And this is your favorites bar. It goes all the, can go all the way across. So ones that you use a lot, you can put into your favorites. And when Barbara created her bookmarks and she chose the location, if you chose favorites, it's going to put it in this folder. And you can see I've got these two in here, and you can see right up here. So no matter where I go on the um, internet, like I can get rid of the bookmarks, it's still there. Right. So I can always bang, you know, get to Star Tribune or whatever I have in my favorites. So I'm gonna go back It's really here. a nice feature. Yeah. It is. Now you can see here, now I have um, a, a grayed out arrow pointing this way. Yeah. This way. Yeah. And it says back. That means I can navigate back because it, it's telling me I'm in favorites. I can navigate back. And there I'm back out here. When I'm at the main level, oh, this is also history. Right. And if I tap on that, it's gonna show you where you went, where you've been. But that's a great thing. You yeah. remember, wait, yesterday I was looking for that rug. Right. Now I'm just going to go back and find that. Right. And boom, you're at that website. You can see it says this afternoon. This is where we've been, you know, yesterday or a couple days ago, Monday morning. Okay, so this is the list. And if you want to clear it, 
you just tap clear. And it's kind of nice because you can clear just the last hour. And um, this could be handy, let's say you're looking for a birthday present, maybe for your favorite sink sister. Oh, <laughs> sink sister. Whose birthday was yesterday. Yes, it was. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Um, say I was shopping for one for Barbara and <laughs> we're going to be filming. I don't want her to see it. So I could clear the last hour or I could clear all of today, today and yesterday, or clear everything. Right. So right. you can be very incognito if you want. Right. But history is very useful to find things that maybe you were looking at a couple days ago. Right. So as you can see, I've got a little navigate out again. There I am. Then, um, then it's going to list your bookmarks. And down here, you'll see an edit button. <laughs> if I tap on that, here comes up these things. Now, these red toggles uh, mean that I can, tr I can delete it. So right. if I Go ahead and tap it. on one, do I want to delete it? Yes. Now it's gone. Over here, you see the three bar icon, which we see in a lot of places. So that means if you tap on it and hold, you can move the order. Right. So if you want one, certain ones to be at the top of your list, because sometimes your list will get very right. long. And what if it gets really long and you want to organize it? If you want to organize how it. How can you do it? How can you do it? You go down here and it says new folder. So if ah. I tap on that, now let's see, I really like weather. So I want to create a weather folder. I'm going to put tell it, it where to go. Bookmarks. I could actually put a folder up here. Right, in your favorites. Yeah. Or a folder inside of a folder. Right. You could get really, really in crazy. Depth. Um, so you've told it where to go, and you can hit done. All right. So now I go back out. And we can oh, see yeah. there's our folder. There's a folder. So I'm done here. Okay, I go all the way back out. I'm just at the root level of bookmarks. You can see my weather folder. Right. What if I want to put something in yeah, there? Yeah, let's put that. <laughs> let's put that. Uh... I'm going to pretend this is a weather bookmark, right? Sure. Oh, there. You yeah. could go into favorites and pull the Carol, the weather right. eleven out. Well, I could. You... That's kind yeah, of... Let's right. let's say there's a bookmark here that I want to put in there. Okay. I just take my little move, go to get over my move icon, and put it in there. Nope, that's oh. just going to move it. That's just reordering, right? You just want to go into it, right. and then you can tell it. And you know, sometimes the keyboard covers things up. This is good to notice. You know, it's got you blinking in here, but what you really want is down here. Right. So you could just click down; it will go away. Oh, that's a good. So point. I change my. I'm going to change my location. Is what I'm going to do. Yep. And I'm going to put it in the weather folder. Get rid of that keyboard. Now I can see it's in weather. Right. If I go back out and I say done and I look in weather now, now I've got a bookmark in there that makes no sense because it's not weather. But. Right. But that's, <laughs> it's a great thing. It's a good thing to have. Right. Be able to put folders because really weather, weather is one where you really got to check more than one app. Oh, yeah. You really do. Yeah. Yep. And news. They're all so different. Yeah. You might so want to have your favorite news websites in one. Totally, yeah. Cooking, Cooking, you know. Anything, yep. Um, yep. So then um, the next thing you see up here are the glasses. Is the reading list. And that's list. your reading list, and Barbara's going to tell you about that. Yeah, and the reading list is, is a great feature. Um, what the reading list allows you to do is to take a web page, to take an article that you want to read, and put it into the reading list, and it'll download that article, and then when you're offline, let's say you're going on a trip and you're going to be on a plane and you're not going to have Internet, you can still read all those articles you put in there. Or you're on a camping trip and you're out in the middle of nowhere and you don't have any Wi-Fi signal or any internet signal, you can still read um, what you put in your reading list. So it's pretty easy to do. We're just going to go into an article here on the Star Tribune page. And you don't have to have this up to do You that. don't. Good point. So we're up here, and we can see a page for um, an article about the airport. And I'm going to go ahead and tap here. And right next to Add Bookmark, it says Add to Reading List. I'm going to tap on that, and it added it to my reading list. Now let's go over here. To find that, you go to your bookmark, and you tap on the glasses. And now it shows you the articles that you had. There's the latest one I put in there. Mm -hmm. If I tap on it, it's going to bring that article up. <clears throat> and I'm going to be able to read it. Let's turn this off now. And it's going to automatically, when I get to the bottom of the article, I get through all the comments and everything at the bottom, it says, up next, National Geographic News. Here's oh, okay. an article. I <clears throat> Now it's going to go to it because right. we're online, so it actually can go to it, and it's going to bring it up. And, it, and you just keep going through the list. So 
It's also really nice when you're on the plane. You don't have to keep going back and picking a different article. When you get through, it's going to say, up next, chasing nighttime thunderstorms. You know, right. It just takes you right through it. So it's a really nice um, feature. And if you want to get rid of them, <clears throat> you basically just swipe, mm-hmm. and you can hit delete. Yep. And that one's gone. I use this a lot, not necessarily for um, going on a trip or something where I'm not going to have internet, but... Just it's to remember like, to, to read remember it. to read it. Yeah. Oh, this is a cool article. I don't have time to read it now. I add it to my reading right. list, and later on, when I'm just sitting around with my iPad, I can read it. So. Right. And you can also show unread. We've looked at all of those, so nothing is showing up right now. Or show all at the bottom, Great. so you can see which ones you've already looked at. All right. Well, that was our tech bit on Safari, bookmarks, favorites, and reading lists. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit, and please subscribe to our channel.